So we have not ran this thing in a while and it sucks. <laughs> I wanted to make a quick update on this car right here. We did not run it last week and it's a bummer, but what happened was is I ordered a bunch of parts from Roz and it took a little while to get here. And I really did not want to run the car feeling like I didn't really do anything to it and I didn't really do what I wanted to do to it, which was getting the perfect pass installed and getting some new tires. So what I want to do this week is I want to run this car with the perfect pass. I, I always watch my logs after my runs and I have noticed that I have very high current spikes at low speeds, which as everybody told me means that I am pulling the, I'm pulling the trigger way too fast which I have already known that. I feel like the perfect pass is really gonna help me a lot. It's launch control. Um, I actually, I, I, I race real cars. Uh, you guys can check out my channel called uh, Mr. Street Racing, where I race a 68 Camaro. So I'm very familiar with launch control. And this is pretty much, this right here, the perfect pass, that's pretty much the technology for launch control. And I think that that would really help me out with my startup and really help me out with keeping my current low on starts and allowing it to slowly rise. And then I should be able to hit better top speed with my slower acceleration. What I wanna do is, well, first I'm gonna put this thing uh, so it's like it's not even there. And I'm going to uh, go through the calibration procedure that Roz has on his channel. Once I do that, and I have it recalibrated, I'm gonna go and try to hit the uh, throttle with it turned all the way up and see how slow the acceleration is. And then I'm gonna try to set it probably somewhere in the middle for my first run. And uh, guys, let me know in the comments, where, where do you think I should set this thing for my very first run? Should I set it in the middle? Should I have it all the way on? Or should I have it for just a couple of seconds? I don't know, I've never ran this thing. So let me know how you think I should set this thing. I have it turned all the way to the left. So that means that it's not engaged at all. So I'm going to go ahead and power it up. After I power it up, I'm gonna do the calibration on my ESC. And then after that, um, we're going to go ahead and set it to fully turn to the right and see how the delay works. Ooh. So yeah, that, that was the perfect pass completely turned off. Um, Rod says to always turn this thing off before you make any adjustments. So I'm going to turn it all the way to the right and turn it back on. Oh, I'm hitting the, the look at that. It was weird. Whoa. Oh, that's pretty cool, guys. Wow, I think that's gonna be really helpful. Okay, that's a really long time though. That's a really long time. Um, I'm gonna put it in the middle. Let's see. That's all the way there, that's all the way right, so. Let's see. Most potentiometers have a little um, arrows on it, yes, this one does. So having it in the middle would be right about there. So let's try that. So that seems better, but let's see, I'm gonna turn it down a little bit more. Let's see.
All right, so I think that's where I'm gonna leave it. It's, it, I would say it's about 40% up. So um, guys, let me know, should I leave it there for my first run or should I make it a little bit more aggressive? Uh, I know he says that all the way on 100%, that is 10 seconds. So I should be around four seconds right now, somewhere around there. So let me know if that's good or not. Uh, I also, um, I do have his springs. I do have Raza's springs. So that's something that you guys said I should get. I got those uh, front and back. So, um, you know, I'm taking your guys' ideas that you're, that, that you're giving me and I'm definitely um, putting them to use. And you guys have been helping me a lot. So uh, definitely thank you very much. Um, also, what I'm going to do on this next run is I am going to um, use the capacitor bank that I made and I'm gonna do a run with the capacitor bank and I'm gonna do a run without the capacitor bank and then I'm going to compare to see how um, the logs look and, and see what the cap bank is actually doing. Thank you for watching guys. I really appreciate you all. And this weekend we will try to hit uh, over 150. This is our next big milestone. 150 is the next big milestone. All right, thank you guys.